Hi, welcome to this video on NISM Series 21B Portfolio Manager Certification Examination. In this video, I am going to take you through an interesting calculation which is about duration and also help you understand how duration can be used to allocate uh, bonds in the portfolio which eventually results into a bond portfolio creation. I have, I have prepared this video after I received request from one of the viewers to provide solution to a problem uh, which is typically asked in the NISM certification exam on portfolio managers certification. So in this video, I will be solving that sum which will give you an idea about how to arrive at duration as well as allocate points across bond. To create the portfolio. So let me move ahead and talk to you about which is the problem that I'm going to solve here. So if you see here, uh, this is the problem, and there are four options which are given as solution also. So let me just read the problem quickly for you. An educational institution approaches a PMS, which is a portfolio management service provider, for managing its fund of rupees 50 lakhs. So it is very, very clear here that the fund that is going to be managed is 50 lakhs. Okay. Uh, the investment horizon is 10 years. The portfolio manager sets up a portfolio with two bonds with a duration of 10, 10 years as on January 1st. So it's very clear that the duration of both the bonds have to be set uh, for 10 years, okay, which portfolio manager is trying to do. Uh, then on 1st January, bond A is selling at Rs. 750 with a face value of 1000, paying coupon of 8% per annum and maturing in 25 years. So I have kind of put it here, which are the, what is the feature of the, the first bond, which is bond A. Bond B is selling at uh, 690 and has a face value of 1000, paying 5% coupon once a year and maturing in 30 years. If the future 30 years would have a flat yield curve, how many bond A and B have to be purchased by the bond manager? So the, again, I have described here price and other details of bond B. And as you can see here, we have to set the duration of the bond portfolio equal to 10 years by finding the appropriate allocation of each bond in the portfolio. So let us see how can we do this. So to do this, we need to follow three steps. First, find the yield of the bonds, both the bonds A and B. Then find the duration of the bond, and then find the allocation of each bond in the portfolio. So let us follow all these three steps. We'll need Excel to do it. Uh, in the exam also, you will get Excel to solve it, so you can easily solve it. So uh, we start with how to calculate the yield. So we have two bonds. To calculate the yield, you will need to use the yield function. Uh, please uh, put the dates appropriately. So as you can see, I put 22 here and 47 here, which means that I have taken care of 25 years. Then you have to put the rate, which is coupon rate. While putting price and redemption, do not forget to divide it by 10 because uh, the Excel, formulas, uh, Excel formula of yield is based on a face value of 100 rupees. So if you put the face value of 1000, it will not give appropriate answer. So divide the face value by 10 and divide the price also by 10 to bring parity. And if you scroll down here, you will get frequency. Click put frequency as one, and then you will end up getting this particular yield, which is being displayed here in number, which you can convert in Excel in percentage uh, by selecting uh, the toolbar where there is a percentage indicator, so you can convert it that way. Similarly, for the second bond, which is of 30 years, you need to put the year and the date carefully. Okay, you can select any date, but the gap should be such that it is 30 years. Uh, then you put the rate, price, redemption, and again put. Uh, frequency as one. Uh, day count convention need not be put, you can leave it as blank, you will get, because there is no mention of day count convention in the problem, so we are not assuming any day count convention. Again, divide uh, price and redemption by 10, because it has to be set equal to 100. So once you have got the yield, which I can see here, okay, uh, 
you need to work on the second step, which is how to find the duration. So duration can be found through a formula again in Excel, which is duration. So while finding the duration, you have to again be careful with the dates. You have to put the date appropriately. This is the 25 year duration and this is the 30 year duration that I have found as you can see from the two different dates. Do not forget to put, put the coupon and the yield that you calculated for each of the bonds. Okay, uh, the yield has to be put here as we have arrived at. And once you have got the yield value, okay, just put the appropriate yield which is applicable. So, after you have got the yield, you will end up getting what is called as the duration. A duration is a basically the time frame in which the investor will get the money back which has been invested in the bond. So we have got the duration now 9.79 and 13.47. I'm only taking, uh, you know, values up to two decimal, but in Excel automatically the values will be taken for more higher values also. What is the third step? Find allocation of each bond in the portfolio. This is very critical. That is what we are supposed to do. So to find allocation, you have to assume that there are two, there are the weightage are there for both the bonds because you have only two bonds. So weightage of the first bond will be bond will be taken as W1. You can put it as W1. And W2 is the weightage of the second bond, bond which can also be written as 1 minus W1. Because whatever is not the weightage of first is the weightage of second. So you can write it as 1 minus W1. Then you will have to write this equation. Okay. The equation that we are writing is 10 is equal to 9.71 W1, which is the duration of the first one, plus 1 minus W1 multiplied by 13.47, which is duration of the second one. And by solving this equation, which I have provided as the solution here, you can see the solution which has been manually written here because it's not possible to type that solution in Excel appropriately, so it has been manually mentioned here you will be able to reach a weightage of 94.29% for bond 1, which is bond A, and 5.71% weightage for the second one. Okay, so after you have got these weightages, which you can again look at from the solution, as I have shared, uh, and it's very, it has been put in steps so that, you know, um, uh, it's easily understood. Okay. Uh, now, what is the total investment that we have to do? We have to do a total investment of 50 lakhs. Out of 50 lakhs, 47 lakhs 14,000, four, four, sorry, 47 lakhs 14,500 will be in the first bond because 94.29% of 50 lakhs is this much. Since each bond is priced at 750 rupees, okay, if we divide it, we will reach to an approximately approximate value of 6286. Okay, and the second bond will be for the remaining value, which is 285,500. That would be divided by 690. Now, one thing that you have to remember is that we have, uh, you know, taken and rounded off the numbers. In the Excel, uh, you know, you need not round off the numbers, but this was just to help participants understand how to arrive at the solution. This uh, difference of decimal you can drop on your own. Uh, please uh, uh, do calculate and consider all the decimal values rather than just two fractions because that will give you appropriate answer. Okay. Uh, this is how we arrive at the solution. So if you see uh, the option which we had in the first slide where the problem was given, I think it is D which will be the answer through this method. I hope this video has helped you get the sense of how to calculate duration and how to allocate bond portfolio based on duration. If you found this video to be useful, I will request you once again to like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Hope to meet you again in some other video.